the motherfucking deal YouTube this your boy Lazarin please comment like and subscribe on this video I thank you guys for uh, supporting the channel I thank y'all guys for all who's in the live stream Dante's uh, live streams y'all go sub up to that channel Dante's live streams NBA NFL uh, Dante live streams NBA NFL uh, y'all go sub up to that channel I do every live stream on that channel so y'all go sub up to him and join it with me it was a great live stream one of the best live streams I had in a long time that, in fact, that by far that was the best live stream the other live stream was uh, like I say against OKC when I have all the people in the chat before it's entertainment excitement and watching the Lakers game people coming in I appreciate everybody I appreciate everybody for the trade deadline special that was there. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, like I said, uh, subs up to this channel, Lazarin Sports Talk NBA NFL 2K19. Y'all sub up to this channel as well. Now let's get right into it. A great game, one of the best games of the year I watched tonight. Uh, L.A. Lakers beat the uh, Boston Celtics uh, 129 uh, to 128. The game started off uh, very, very good. Kyrie Irving going at LeBron James on a layup, shooting a tough layup over LeBron James. And like I say, uh, then LeBron James lighting up. Like I say, uh, Lance Stevenson having a good first quarter, hit two threes. Kyle Kuzma uh, was very, very good. The first half, it was all Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics, the, Bo the, Boston, the Boston Celtics uh, took over the whole first half. Whole first half, they were up by much as 18 points. And you come in and you thought, like I said, you thought Boston was going to run away with the game. They were up much as 18 points. And then after Rondo, they called it, the Lakers called the timeout. Like I said, after Rondo was coaching, talking to the players, it, a whole new vibe. You saw a whole new vibe coming out of that timeout. The Lakers started hitting threes. LeBron James started hitting threes for limited range and all that. Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram starting to step up. Um, Jabel McGee starting to step up. They got the, the biggest momentum of the game when I thought they got the lead down by nine at halftime. Then the ball, then the L.A. Lakers came out of halftime. They go on a 10 on run right up out of the gate. Uh, LeBron James started facilitating, and he started that with the middle of the first half when Rondo first was talking. He started that. Then he was facilitating, and then, like I say, Kyle Kuzma starting to come up in the third quarter, and Caldwell Pope, I'm going to get back to Caldwell Pope in a minute. Caldwell Pope starting to step up, hit some threes in the, in the third quarter. The Lakers were just on fire in the third quarter, so they ended, it was up in the fourth quarter by six points, I believe, uh, 99 to 93. And then, like I say, Boston come out on a strong one. Scary Terry starting to, starting to, uh, Get into a rhythm. He's starting to hit some big threes. Uh, Marcus Smart, I thought, missed two big threes to uh, overtake the game pretty much. And then here we go. We go to LeBron James and Kyrie Irving battle it out. LeBron James comes down. He hits a big three. And then Kyrie, Ir uh, Kyrie Irving, uh, I think the LeBron James hits a big three uh, to tie the game up. Then Kyrie Irving hits another big three to untie the game. When he hits a layup, he gets free throws. The top at 110, at 110, then he comes, LeBron James Briggs, Kyrie Irving steps to the side. He steps to the side, uh, like do, does one of those James Harden moves, steps to the side. He hits a three over um, JaVale McGee. That was clutch. And then, like I say, uh, they go back and forth. It was um, LeBron James hits a three in the corner to tie at 118, 118. Uh, then Kyrie Irving hits a big three to put him up three. And then, like I say, LeBron James misses a shot. Then come back down, Kyrie Irving gets a double screen for Daniel Tice them, and he splits the double team, he penetrates, and Marcus Morris was wide open for a three. Boston hits that three, making 124 to 118. You think the game is over right there, but no, 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 no. Speaking of KCP, KCP hits a three. He was about to fall out of bounds. KCP hits the three. I thought that was the momentum shot right there that gave, pretty much gave them Lakers the game. Because if he misses that three, the game is ball game is over at that point. But KCP ends up hitting the he ends up hitting the three on that play, making one twenty one and one twenty four. Then the Boston Celtics they miss a shot. Then you got um, LeBron James again driving to the lane. He gets blocked. Then again, um, 
He get he saves the ball from going out of bounds. The ball bounces up in the air, goes straight to Rondo. LeBron James sets up in the corner. Rondo gives it back to LeBron. He hits a three before Al Horford can even get over there. Ties it at 124. And then, like I said, um, Kyrie Irving has two free. I mean, Jason Tatum has two free throws off the inbound uh, foul. He hits them both in the next play. Uh, the Lakers was was going for the three the whole time, and the Boston Celtics defense was scrambling. And at the same time, the ball skips back to Rondo, skips back to LeBron James, which is goes to Kuzma, who was half open. Kuzma hits the open three, and then they, the Celtics calls a timeout on that play. Like I said, the Celtics calls a timeout on that play, gives it to Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving with a tough layup off the backboard, and it goes to 128 to 127. And then the play of the game, uh, the play of the game was pretty much to me was Caldwell Pope hitting that big three in the corner. Falling out of bounds. If Caldwell Pope doesn't make that, the ball game is over at that point of time. Uh, with the Celtics up by six, they have a chance to run off clock and get a big shot, get a good shot. So, uh, Brandon Ingram gets the ball. Lakers had no time out at this point. Brandon Ingram gets the ball. He drew, he got long arms. He draws the ball. A great defense by Al Horford blocking the shot. He, he blocks the shot. And... Somehow Tyson Chandler keeps the ball alive. He pokes it away from Kyrie Irving, and it goes to Rondo. Rondo ends up shooting a comfortable shot, comfortable shot with players running at him, and he ends up hitting a buzzer beater. And that that was the game, pretty much right there. A real fun, entertaining game. One of the best games of the year. Like Rondo stepped up tonight. He had a couple of big threes tonight, pretty much. But after, I got to give credit to Rondo when the Lakers were down 18 points. Uh, he was talking to the team. Whatever he told the team, it worked. They end up getting back in the game. And you end up seeing LeBron James' greatness able to exploit, uh, spread out the ball, make plays for other people. And like I say, uh, this Lakers team, they're 28 and 27 right now. Uh, they still out of the playoffs. It's, it's the playoffs start today. Uh, like I say, they was on the verge of going under 500. Boston are 35 and 20. Tough loss by Boston. If you're Boston, you got to go look at film and see what went wrong. You lost an 18-point lead. Then at the then like almost one minute left, you were up by six points. But you couldn't do the Caldwell Pope. That was a great, great shot. That was just a great shot. Um, falling out of bounds. That was just a great shot. Nothing you can do about that. But leaving Kuzma wide open, he wasn't pretty much wide open. But letting the Lakers take that three on that situation you knew they were going to go for a three uh and kuzma was able to knock it down able to make a big shot and knock it down and then it was tough luck where al horford played great defense and tyson Chandler ended up tipping the ball and rondo ended up uh like i say right place right time right time uh that was great it was a couple good shots that the lakers hit that boston could not do nothing about it but you can't lose an 18 point lead at home and you know it the Lakers are discombobulated. They're already frustrated and stuff like that. That LeBron trying to get the whole team up out of there and stuff like that. But a great win. Um, to me, the Lakers show heart. They show effort. And like I say, the young guys, they fought their asses off through all the adversity that they went uh, to going from a 42-point ass whooping all of a sudden fighting hard and stuff like that. You seeing a lot more fight in that in that first in the middle of the first half and you seen them blow the doors out of Boston in the second half pretty much in that third quarter. Like I say, I like the way they fought hard, but the Lakers still got a lot of work to do. It's no rest in like I say in the Western Conference. LeBron James gonna have to do that pretty much every single night, man. And Rondo, he's playoff Rondo. You already know he, he's gonna do be a consistent player. Uh, Kyle Kuzma showed how good he is. Uh, like I say, he played like he wanted to be there. He played like he was more motivated than ever. Like, anyway, Boston Celtics, I still will pick them over uh, Milwaukee, Toronto when playoff time, but they got to be better. 128 points, that was a bad, that was bad defense. But the Lakers were knocking down threes at a high rate in the third quarter. They were oh, some, some were open, some were shots in people's face. Uh, give the Lakers credit. They never gave up. They fought hard. It was a hard win. Boston, you got to get back on the floor. You got to regroup. And you got to go look at film and see what went wrong. Uh, so, like I say, let's get right into the team stats of this game. Uh, 46 out of 94 for Boston. Um, 48%. Uh, 16 out of 38. Um, 42%. 20 out of 20 from the free throw line. Uh, 48 rebounds. Offensive rebounds, 11. 37 uh, rebounds, uh, 35 assists, very good ball movement, uh, 7 steals, 5 blocks, 8 turnovers, uh, 15 
uh, points off turnovers, fast break points 22, 42 points in the paint. Lakers, 50 out of 97, 51%, pretty good. Uh, the Keys, 22 threes. They started knocking them down in a high rate in, in the third quarter, in the middle of the second quarter. They weren't making nothing at all in the third, in the fourth, first quarter. But they started making them in a high rate from the middle of the second quarter on. They started making them. They started dropping down. Uh, 22 out of 41, 53%. Very good from three. Uh, missed 11 free throws. They got to prove on that. They can't make free throws. 38%. 43 offense, 43 rebounds. Offensive rebounds, 10 uh, 33 uh, defensive rebounds, uh, assists 35, same amount, great ball movement. Most of that was LeBron James facilitating. Five steals, six blocks, eight turnovers. Both teams had eight turnovers. They had sh shots. Uh, 14, 14 points off turnovers, 17 fast break points, points in the paint. The Lakers outscored them by uh, eight in the paint. Uh, let's get right into the box score, then we don't get the hell up out of here. Um, Kyle Kuzma, 34 minutes, 25 and five. Uh, LeBron James, uh, 38 minutes, 28, 12, and 12, triple-double. Brandon Ingram, uh, 40 minutes, 11, and 7. JaVale McGee, 17 and 8, very good, played very good, played very good defense as well, played very good uh, offense. Uh, playoff Rondo, uh, 35 minutes, 17, and 10. Um, Lance Stevenson, 14 points, 2 rebounds. He was good in the first half. Uh, Caldwell Pope, 17, 17 points, and like I say, uh, he hit the big three, pretty much the momentum killer to uh, keep the uh, Celtics from winning the game. Uh, Jason Tatum, 36 minutes, uh, 22 and 10. Al Horford for 12 and 7. Uh, Kyrie Irving, 24, 8 and 7. He struggled from the field pretty much, but he was clutch when they needed him to. Marcus Morris, who choked on two wide open threes. Daniel Tice, who I thought was really, really big for Boston. Uh, he would have been the key player of this game. Daniel Tice, 20 and 6. Uh, Haywood was disappointing. Terry, Scary Terry, 19, uh, 6 and 4, was very big in the fourth quarter. Uh, Jalen Brown, 18 and 2. That's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe. What you guys think about this game? Great game tonight uh, by both teams. Uh, Rondo hit the hit the game winning shot at the buzzer. Uh, like I say, a couple of plays went with bad luck for the uh, Boston Celtics. Like the what the the three in the corner. From KCP was the downfall, was pretty much the uh, momentum killer right there. And the um, and that play by Rondo, that was a great job by Tyson Chandler, able to keep the ball alive and uh, make and um, end up making a shot. And it was a comfortable shot. It just wasn't a jack up. It was a shot, a rhythm, basically shot right there. Uh, and the, and then like I say, another another key momentum play was when LeBron James didn't let the ball go out of bounds. He saved it. The ball bounced up in the air. Rondo gets it. LeBron sets up in the corner. And he that was a big three right there to tie the game. And Kyle Kuzma, that was his three pretty much was a backbreaker. But I'm looking at KCP three that he hit go, almost falling out of bounds. That was killer right there. The Lakers go to 28 and uh, 27. And the Boston Celtics go to 35 and uh, 20. Boston got a lot of work to do. They're scratching themselves in the head. They need to go look at film and see what's wrong. And great effort by the Lakers and great effort by uh, Rondo, Rajon Rondo uh, prep, prep talking the team. But after he did that, they woke up and they, got that, they started making plays and making threes. That's the end of the video, guys. Give me a comment, like, and subscribe on this video. Uh, shout, tune in to Dante live streams tomorrow in the ESPN game tomorrow at 7 o'clock, the Philadelphia 76ers game. Uh, tune in to that game and live commentary. Appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace. Go Rockets.